all these years, Dad told us what kind of a slut you were. Now I finally have proof. Bobby, listen to so me. So wait, what happened? Did you leave your protection inside somebody else's hotel room? What? Or maybe you wanted to get knocked up. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe you wanted to go off and start a, a life with the kid's real father. Eddie is Nate's real father. Nate is your full brother. Yours and James's. Huh? If you say so. I didn't want to leave you. Eddie threw me out. He called me that, what you just said, and worse things. But I was never unfaithful to him. Because the old man was such a lovable guy. Even if I wanted to cheat, the thought of what he would do to me. But once something got in his head, there was nothing I could do to convince him that the child I was carrying was his. And then before I even knew it, I'm being dragged across the room by my hair, kicked out the door, and when that door was closed, I could never see you and James again. So you didn't call the cops, the courts, I, anybody? I had a friend who knew a lawyer, and we had just filed the custody papers when I got a knock on the door in the middle of the night, and there was a picture of Nate with a six-inch butcher knife through it. So you dropped the suit. I was worried for my son. I was your son! Okay, and my father didn't have to put a knife through a picture of me to get to me. Don't you think I know that? I thought about you every day. I went to your school every day just so I could see you getting off the bus. James and his little red jacket that was a size too big and you and your yellow windbreaker. I was there every day, no matter how cold it was, and I wanted to grab you and I wanted to take you and keep you warm. No. You want a proof. What? We were our father's sons. I never thought that you... No. Why didn't, why didn't you come back for us? You didn't even give us a second thought. Not until James shows up with our father's money, and then all you can think about is revenge. Revenge? So you had your kid steal our cash. No. And you, you don't care about James just as long as you get even with Dad. You wanted payback. I want a family. You and James are my sons, and I love you just as much as I love Nate. Relax. No one's getting arrested. Why not? Because I don't have my cuffs with me. That's a joke. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, why don't, uh... <clears throat> Tell me what's going on with your mom. It's nothing, really. No, well, it didn't sound like nothing. Oh, she's being dramatic. My mom says I do that. Yeah, about losing your house? It's been a little rough. It'll be okay. I... Uh. So you say that uh, the money that you took, you gave that to your mom? I didn't know it was stolen, though. All right, just relax. There's no cuffs. Remember? I, I know I should have turned it in. It was... Yeah, but um, you were trying to save your house. Why were you losing it? My mom lost her job. And she's been looking and looking and looking for months. No luck. She just went on an interview, though, so we'll probably be okay, mm. right? So it's uh, it's just you and your mom? What about your dad? He's gone. I'm sorry. He died? Might as well have. He kicked me and my mom out before I was born. So I don't, I don't know if he's dead or alive. I don't really care. The paper will show that Mr. Thornhart's history with his victim precluded any hope of rational thought. Instead of the well-mannered young man you're seeing in front of you today, the defendant became enraged and beat Mr. Manning within an inch of his life. Look, just, the pe just stop, okay? Look, you don't have to do this. Everyone here knows what I did. I attacked Mr. Manning, and I want to take responsibility for it. What are you doing? What I should have done before? I decide what you should do in court. Now sit down. Actually, I believe I decide what the defendant does. And I'd like to hear what he has to say. Your Honor, there's no point to this trial. Look, I admit it. I attacked Mr. Manning. Without provocation. Well, at the time, I believed he hurt my mom and killed her baby. And you think this belief justified your actions? No. But the district attorney is right. I was out of control. I should have never attacked Mr. Manning, no matter what he did. But he was innocent. I was a guilty one. 
I nearly killed Mr. Manning over something he didn't do. And I owe him an apology. I pled not guilty because there was no plea bargain and, well, I didn't want to go to jail. You've since changed your mind? The truth is, I'm guilty. And I'm ready to be punished for what I did. And you're sure this is what you want, Mr. Thornhart? I'm sure. Then, we'll enter a plea of guilty to the charge and move on to sentencing. I'm sorry that you and your mom are going through hard times. It's not your fault. Yeah, well, it's not your fault either. But you don't go using somebody else's money to try to solve your problems. I will not make that mistake again, believe me. Good. You know, there are, there are other ways to get help. Like what? A city, a state, federal government. They all have programs. You don't want charity. And that's good, because that's not what this is. You're not the only one out there who's going through tough times right now. You guys, you get back on your feet, helps the economy, everybody wins. I'll tell you what, why don't you give me a call and, uh, in case you decide to apply for something. Why? Because maybe there's something that I can do to help. No, I, I mean, why are you doing this? I stole your son's girlfriend, right? Do you want me to get the cops? You should hate me. I know that, but I don't. Call me. Nate, finding that money had nothing to do with me. So you're telling me it was just a coincidence? Yes. He doesn't know about you and James. He doesn't know he has two brothers. Because he doesn't. Don't say that. Well, it's your decision, not mine. You were a Nate away from us so bad. Lucky no, you, you got your wish. I never wanted that. As far as James knows, you don't exist. And if he ever finds out anything about either one of you, I'll know who to blame. Bobby, please, we're family. No. We're done here. You can push me away all you want. I'm not going anywhere this time. I gave up on you and James once. I won't ever do that again. I can't tell Cole the truth about Eli. Not with Eli watching his every move. I have to talk to someone. But no one understands. Unless... there is someone. Wait, they're going to sense him right now? Yeah, they'll be all right. How do you know that? I don't... Ms. Buchanan. Yes, Your Honor. The people recommended the sentence of time served plus probation plus community service. We believe that that sentence is more than reasonable. Mr. Thornhart admits he attacked and almost killed Mr. Manning. Yes, because of his mistaken belief that the victim attacked his mother. And he's also shown remorse, which he just attested to in open court. It's well known that Mr. Manning is far from the most popular man in Landview. Um, but I think counsel would agree that even the least popular man deserves the full measure of the law. Oh, yes, of course. Then you'll have no objection if I ask his opinion on the matter. Mr. Manning, would you please come forward?